Hello. Um, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I'm William, um, and I'm here tonight to talk about Hopello. Um, the slides are already up here actually at artcontrol.me forward slash hopello.cg. Um, that's that. Okay, well, this talk, talk, well, this talk will contain, I'll talk a little bit about myself, my software development background and stuff, a little bit about Parfixile, um, and show uh, the Parfixile API, the document, uh, developed documentation. Um, I'll then do a bit of a breakdown of this Hope Pillow app I've been working on, along with the demo, and then I'll do some questions, and then it'll be the end. Okay, about me. So, my name's William. I'm a self-taught Python developer. Um, I've worked for several companies in Sydney, InfoTrack, Fusion Professionals, and Indaga Digital. But I'm back in New Zealand now. So, I've um, been doing a bit of casual development work for a yoga studio, not yoga works, but I'm open to opportunities. Uh, I started playing Path Exile during closed beta. It's about nine years ago, a while ago now. Um, but I've been playing regularly the last past four four months, the last two leagues, like I've been playing quite a bit. Um, and while, while I was playing, I decided to, to, to build something with the API. Yes, yeah, thought it would be just an opportunity to build something on a game that I enjoy playing. Okay, so this is actually a blog post I did back in 2012, like talking about as the uh, Close, close, the, the, the beta version of Parfix are and stuff and things I liked about it and stuff like that. So you can see my character there and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I mentioned how I like to improve their graphics and stuff, but I really like how the gym, gym set up and stuff. Okay, so Parfix are an action RPG game for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Um, you basically create a character, you kill monsters, and you get loot. Many, many consider it a spiritual succeeder for the other two. Uh, this is a screenshot for it. Uh, this is my, my character Pudeep and uh, last league and Ritual. Um, so you can see he's level 95 there. Um, he's a guardian. You can see his items on, on, on the side there. He's got staff, helm, chest, all the kind of standard stuff that you have in RPG games. This is this is him in action kind of thing. So um, here I'm doing a map, killing killing some monsters and stuff. Uh, so the holy holy relic builds. So you can see my relics and kind of shoot off uh, novas as I dash around the place. Okay. Um, so po pillow. Um, this is the the repository for where the code is. Um, on, on GitLab, gitlab.com forward slash hammers make hopello. Um, some of the modules that I'm, I, I use is a config parser, I'm using PyMongo, um, Python image library, and um, fake user agent for um, the, to make it look like I'm using Chrome for the API requests with um, Perfect Star. So this is the config file that I use. The username and password is actually just my MongoDB. Um, start to connect to my MongoDB database. Uh, that font, font directory is for the Python um, for for the generation of the of the images, so that it knows like what font to use. And that um, Po directory is the directory of um, basically stat files and stuff where we are all the where you want to save files to basically. Okay, so the config parser um, it's kind of the standard. Um, Reading, reading the con config file and then such, so it reads the directory and the font from, from there, saves it, saves it as those variables. Okay, PyMongo is um, just um, yeah, imp importing PyMongo um, and running it and uh, creating the database and the, the collection. Okay, um, and then the developed documentation for Parfixile. They've actually recently released a new site for it. It's quite exciting, actually. Like, in the past, the developed documentation has just kind of 
Queen and Bearded as part of their main main game website, and now they've actually got um, kind of its own site kind of thing. Um, Basically, so instead of like mousing over 
I have a night to see the stats. You can actually just open up the GIF and it will show like all the, the item stats. Um, so saving the output um, PNGs as, as a GIF. So I'm using image IO to, to save to save the GIFs. So um, it basically lists all, uh, those those PNGs that were just saved, so one, two, three, four, five, it open, opens them up and saves it as a GIF. And you can specify with image IO, you can, you can specify the frames per second as well, so you can play around with that, kind of depending on how much like images you have and such. Okay, so uh, and then I actually wrap all that around in fast API so that I kind of have a bit of a uh, API um, interface for 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 my for my scripts basically. So um, and I'm also using um, a static um, folder here. The um, this Scarlet has supports um, static files as well, so that um, I can basically serve those GIFs and PNGs that were that are being saved. So this is the, the endpoint that I have in order to um, execute all the um, all the functions that I defined before. So it does like the getting the character, um, it downloads all the items, it, um, make, it makes a character directory, um, creates a text, um, and then it also gets those those item those different item properties. Okay, so now I can I can do a demo. So we've got the API here. This is the fast API um, interface here. It's using Swagger, so you can see here that's that create gift I mentioned. Um, we've got my account name here. Where I can type the account name. Now I can change type in the character name. Um, I can actually, I've got another character, I've got Low D here, but I've actually got another character from a new league called Po D, P O W. So we can now uh, execute this, and it's a demo we've got this time. So let's see if this spits back anything. Okay, it did. The, I know that response is not going to work exactly, but I know. If I go to this and then just type local post in, that'll work. Normal things that I know. So there we go. That, so that, that's it downloaded. So we can see it's uh, a range of level 36, and it's in the, the new league actually just launched on, on Saturday. And we can see we can see its items, and we can see it like. Looping, looping through through the items, so that's all done. That's just GIF animation, is it? Yeah, that's, that, this is just a GIF, so yeah, we can see it's just called art control gif so it's just okay. looping through those those images. Yeah, so that's that. Um, like I've got this other one here. This is my um, load. Deep. This is my guardian. He's level seventy one in the ultimatum. So here's this, this one as well. Um, you could actually update him. He would have been updated. So we go, we'll go back here to another demo with him. Execute again. Does anyone here play Path of Zar? That so I could actually uh, really need to fix this response um, so it's not because normally it just return an IP address for it. But so you can oh, okay. Do you, want to, do you want to try running your character? My character? Do you want to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? You, want you, you can come down. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. Is it public, your character? It's not. Is, is it? Yes, it's not. Yeah, cool. So you can just put your name and character name in. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it gets this, it gets this off the public 
He had no idea how they came to it. You just kind of get him. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. Okay, you You can do that. You can remember it. So you don't need a, sign, a proper sign in for this? Or you they they do have that? authentication stuff for it, but for this, a lot of it's public. Yeah. Um, can, can, yeah, can you just. Uh, uh, I just want to see if you can remember. Really this does so? Oh, yeah. No, no, it's not, it's not that. It's not, it's not that. No, no, no. Something, something. Can you, can you open oh, it? should I open up? Let's have a look at our website. Yeah, if you go to the Yeah. Uh, just... Yeah, so if you, if you click on your profile. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, not the profile. <coughs> Your account, maybe? Not that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And instead of the art, see. Oh, yeah, I can see, type in. Yeah, just type in. Uh, just let me type in. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The character here. You could certainly do stuff like that. Yeah. There's certainly like okay. it's in quite early stages at the moment. There's still a lot of features and stuff that I'd like to do, like right. and that. So yeah. What is, what is what is your ultimate goal? What is, what is it that you have? Um, I, I, is, is, it, is it for learning this really funny? Yeah. Do you have something in mind that you would love to? You know, well, it would be always nice to make some money from it somehow or something. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's just kind of just a personal project kind of thing. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? So when you surface that, do you just have that that you can look at yourself? 
Yeah, I, I was I did have a, a digital server, a digital ocean server running actually drop that on the air and I was I was running it on the air, just deployed it on the air, so I I, I did did have it on there. But but for this demo I just wanted to make sure it was running locally and stuff. So yeah, but like all the all the source code to help you actually program the stuff on the, the repo. So, yeah. It seems to to run really quickly. Yeah. Um, one major issue I have having with like the with the items, um, kind of the length of them sometimes and stuff like that, they can. Um, I really got to figure out something with um, because they can overlap with each other. Because you see how the items they they've only got a certain amount of lines on them, and then some of some of the some of the data I'm parsing is really quite long, and so it's going over. So that's why I actually um, actually commented out some of the data that's getting. Put the generator into there, um, and I, I, um, I need to try and sort that out somehow. I've, I've, been, try, I've been thinking about it. Plus, also, I don't really like the layout of it as well. It would be kind of nice that the, the image that's generated would be nicer if it looked more like it was in game kind of thing, with like the flasks along the bottom kind of thing, and then put the, the um, chest in the middle and gloves. The side and weapons aside, that kind of stuff to be like work on the design stuff of it a bit more than that. But, yeah. Sorry, beginner question. If yeah. I understand it correctly, you're just producing a single GIF file. Yeah, so. Or oh, we're just rendering it now faster than I can read. Yeah, so it, it, all, all it does is um, like it creates, it creates those. The, the image files as PNG files from the data. Like it takes takes it makes a 